Have you ever had entries in your form editor that you were not able to delete? Well, I have had such instances. And were you able to actually delete them? Well, I was able to delete them. And right now I don't have any of those anymore. So I can't actually show you, but I can tell you what you need to do in order to be able to delete them. So the green ones over here are forms that I created myself and I've added all sorts of commands and scripts to them. And for instance, here you have join verts. When I right click on it, I'm able to delete it, but sometimes the delete is grayed out. And what I did to actually get it to not be grayed out is when, and this joint verts actually is being added to a form that I called underscore a underscore my underscore move. It has been exported and it has been saved out. So when I go to my scripts folder, so system open config folder, so not scripts folder, but configs folder, I have over here that script. And if you have an entry that you cannot delete because it is grayed out, what I did to actually be able to gray it out is if I select this join verts, I gave it an, another name, for instance, something like delete me, and saved out the top form, the parent form again, so save form. And then I opened that form and did a search for the new name that, the, that, that I gave it, for instance, delete me, and deleted that entry in the config file. Saved the config file, and after having saved that file and restarted Modo, then that entry would still be here, but then when you right clicked on it, the delete would not be grayed out anymore. So if you ever have an entry to your form that you cannot delete because it's grayed out, then I suggest to check out its config file. And for easy finding, well, join verts is of course something that you can easily find when you do a search, but I usually rename it, save the parent form, and then I know I'm looking for that one, do a control F to search for that term in that config file, delete it from the config, save the config, restart modo, and then when you come back to the form editor and right click on it, it should not long, longer be grayed out and then you can simply delete it. So I hope you found this useful. Bye for now.